athleisure segment of the fashion industry has been holding strong for several seasons, but now there's an upmarket techie twist. WSJ's fashion columnist Christina Binkley calls it ath luxury, and she's here to tell us more. Hi, Christina. Hi, Tanya. So let's back up and remind our, our readers what athleisure entails and how it's been dominating for a while. Yeah, athleisure is that little that that trend that appeared a couple of years ago on the runways where we started seeing sweatpants and sweatshirts coming from luxury companies and and other things. I think we've all seen people going to work in their Lululemon yeah. or their their Nike uh, their Nike wear their togs these days. And we practically all have it in our wardrobe. So tell us about this new twist on the trend. Well, you know, I've started to notice people really, I'm going to, I'm going to say this is, this is geek worthy stuff. I used to, hear, to talk to people who were collecting watches or cars and they'd talk about the transmissions of their cars. Now I hear them doing that with, with sunglasses, with, with the, the details, the grommets and the armpits of their jackets. So these are really uber designed products. Well, I'm glad you mentioned sunglasses because you write about a new pair of running sunglasses by District Vision that seems to illustrate this trend perfectly. Yes, and I will be happy to illustrate them for you, as a matter of fact, because I have a pair of these sunglasses right here. This pair costs $299. If you get the polarized version, it's $349, which doesn't, you know, I mean, this yeah. is this is not a $1,000 pair. The price is not insane, but it's a lot more than the $35 pair you would have bought at, at, at REI a few years ago to protect your, your glasses. Absolutely, but what's so special about them? What do they do? Well, I, you know, I, I honestly think that this is this is you would wear these to like meet a yogi. If you talk to the founders of this company, there there is something godly about these things. You can you can nerd out on the details. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little tip on the edge of the of the earpiece here that can flip around and hug the back of your your head a little bit more tightly. These are feathered nose pieces that have metal in them that can be bent. Um, I'm pretty sure that you could drive your car over them. They haven't they haven't told me that, but they are, these are made of um, incredible scientifically designed materials that will last um, until the next millennium. Um, and of course, they're shatterproof and greaseproof and sweatproof. And of course, you can't even get them until December, but the hype is building. That's right. As a matter of fact, the website is going to launch for this thing with no photographs of the glasses because it's, it's all about the idea of them. Right. <laughs> so tell us, there are lots of other workout friendly yet high fashion items that are meant as much for art galleries as gyms, right, Christina? Yes. Yes, as a matter of fact, Lululemon, for instance, is coming out. They have Lululemon Lab. They're coming out with clothing that, that doesn't even look like workout apparel to me. But, of course, it has all the technical specifications. So if you want to do cartwheels <laughs> in your business suit, you absolutely will be able to. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. And yet so many of these companies, you say, shy away from marketing that's too focused on the luxury part. Is that right? Are they hoping for some sort of association with a higher calling? Yeah, you know, as a matter of fact, I think this is a little bit of a backlash against the luxury industry. It sort of cheapens the word because we use it so much, right? Um, so if you're if you're spending, you know, ninety dollars on a yoga mat, for instance, that is a luxury product in my opinion. Um, but they don't want to be associated with that. It sounds too exclusive. Um, one of the founders of District Vision told me that they wanted their their product to be inclusive. Interesting. All right, Christina. Well, thank you so much for all that. I'll have to get in line for those sunglasses. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you.